very interesting things about that too is because it's got so many rivets in it. Mm -hmm. like, the rivets might have an effect, yeah. Also mm -hmm. Yeah, right here that would be really thick. Some, some brass cut off, but nothing major really. That was exactly on the river. And yep. it just went clear, dented, and took this thing. So I don't think it makes that much of a difference. This helmet is what I would consider sword proof. I was quite hesitant to use the sword on it anyway. It seemed pointless because there is no chance that an arming sword would do any significant damage to it. And even the long sword didn't fare much better. It's just the helmet is too solid. It's, it's quite heavy, pretty thick, and there's really not much that the sword can do. Also, didn't fare so well. The guard is loose and worse, the pommel is also quite loose. And this is not the kind that you're supposed to be able to unscrew. This is peen, so that's bad news. So that sword definitely has taken some damage. The only edge damage though is, let's see, right here. So that's not a lot. The edge actually held up surprisingly well. And keep in mind, this does not mean that swords would generally be damaged from contact with helmets. It's this particular one. Can't make any more general statements. There we go, that's better. That's a substantial dent. Pretty
what? Well then, that was unexpected! In case you're wondering whether I'm pissed at Eric for breaking my axe, no, not at all. I go into these tests assuming full responsibility for whatever may happen to my stuff, and it's not like he did it on purpose, so whatever. So what happened was, as you saw, the axe struck at this point here, which puts a lot of stress on that area. So was this a case of manure happens and things break, or is there something wrong with the axe? Quite frankly, I'm not sure. I'm not a woodworker. Looking at this, it doesn't look quite right to me. Seeing how many holes there are, it looks kind of porous. So it doesn't look right to me, but I'm not an expert. Any wood woodworkers among you, feel free to let us know what you think. Personally, I think this shouldn't really have happened, but I'm not entirely sure. As said, things break, of course. You can't expect either a sword or an axe or any weapon to be indestructible. And on the battlefield, lots of them would have been broken. In this case, I don't know. Let's move on.